the attacks right now, you moved out of Indiana, you are a lobbyist, and you are the deciding vote on the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare. Your opportunity to respond. Well, first, uh, I've been a Hoosier since the day I was born and will be since until the day I die. Uh, that's just who I am. Uh, my opponent has spent more than 800 days the last six years in Washington, D.C., voting against Hoosier values. He's voted to keep tax breaks for companies that uh, ship jobs overseas. He's voted to increase the interest that our students pay on their student loans by about $6,000 per student. He's voted to uh, increase premiums that seniors pay on their uh, Medicare and reopen the donut hole. $1,400 per senior, more in prescription drug costs. Those aren't the actual of someone who embraces Hoosier values. Those are the actions of someone who embraces the special interests, a lot like the people who are sending out these mailings that you just got. Second thing was, I've never been a lobbyist a day in my life. That's just a lie. I have worked with good Indiana companies to help grow jobs in our state, to expand our economy. I think that's a good thing. The third thing you mentioned, the list was so long I've lost track. The Affordable I'm, Care Act. Oh, the Affordable Care Well, look, you know, uh, we need to keep the good things and fix the things that need to be improved. Uh, I don't think we want to go back to the days where, you know, look, even Governor Pence, conservative Republican, expanded the Medicaid system in the state, uh, increasing coverage for more than 300,000 people. I don't think we want to throw those fo folks off of uh, Medicaid. That's something Mike Pence and I would agree on. Let's fix the law to keep premiums down, but let's keep the things that uh, are good for people.